Growing up, you may have made a pact with someone to be blood brothers or blood sisters. I know I did. The alliance was made by shedding blood and mixing it together. In ancient civilizations, people established binding agreements or covenants by shedding the blood of animals in a solemn ritual. The covenant was a permanent commitment for the stronger family or individual to protect the weaker. In turn, the lesser tribe or person pledged their loyalty. In the Old Testament, God told the Israelites to put the blood of a sacrificial lamb over their doorposts when he was ready to judge their captors. Every family whose door was marked by blood was protected from God's judgment. Many Jewish people still celebrate this holiday called Passover. The Bible says that life is in the blood and there is no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. You might wonder why is this all necessary? Well, God is holy, perfect, and good. So we have to be clean to enter his presence. On the other hand, sin has consequences of death, and separation from God. So in God's goodness, he provided payment, a method to cleanse us from our sin through Jesus Christ so that we can enter his presence, his covenant, and enjoy his protection and blessings. So our salvation or covenant with God was divinely provided by the shedding of Jesus's blood. That's one reason Jesus is called the Lamb of God. When you've given your life to Jesus, you have entered into his covenant. At the Last Supper, as Jesus distributed the wine and bread, he told his disciples, For this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. The blood of Jesus continues to be the protection and deliverance for our personal lives and loved ones. This isn't really taught very much anymore. One way to apply the blood now is by celebrating communion. And many people still do that. You can also ask Jesus to cover your day, health, finances, travel, children, spouse, etc. with his shed blood. I do this for myself and my grown daughter every morning. When you pray that spiritual covering, you are applying the blood just like the Israelites did. You are inviting God to cleanse and protect you and the people who matter to you according to that new covenant. So let's pray and thank God for the covenant. Lord, we thank you that you shed your blood so that we could enter into your protective covenant of salvation and wholeness. We ask you, Lord, to open our eyes to the fullness of what you have purchased for us and to enter into it each day with you. We thank you, Lord, for your protection, for your salvation, for your love and your concern for everything that matters to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is Dr. Tony Cooper. Thanks for listening.